This is our 1977 GMC Motorhome. It was pre it was manufactured in November of 1976. So it does have a 455. Chassis number 6923. With some pretty alcos. It was just painted white. It was a three color green. I'll show you in the door jam. I think it was a Palm Spring. I'm just learning more about them now. When I got it, they had just redid all the brakes and put new air conditioners in. I have all the receipts from that. The brakes were from an Eldorado, of course, 76 Eldorado. And then my mechanic and I, well, mostly him, <laughs> who is into these herself, uh, gave it a tune-up, of course. The uh, All the parts were for a 1976 Oldsmobile Toronado because that is where the, the powertrain is lifted almost directly from. Well, the Toronado, which meant it's an Oldsmobile 455, a GM Turbo Hydromatic 425 front-wheel drive transmission, which... Let's see, they made them from 72 to 78 in Pontiac, Michigan at the GMC plant. Now let me shake you inside. It's gonna need some carpet. It's, uh, it is 1977. Uh-huh. I believe Let's see, how many miles do we have here? Mm, 82. And these are the controls for the air suspension. And auxiliary fuel tank, and you can put the batteries together. I had to do that when I got it, the battery wasn't very well. Uh, first time I took it camping, couldn't start it. I press this and it connects the chassis batteries to the front. Let's see. This is for the tourists that want to see what's going on in here. It is a 455. Um, I love that the previous owner did all this. The, the tops of the boxes of everything that I needed made it very easy. Um, it had really dark tint. I took it all off. I love the way this stuff works. Well, <coughs> need a little lubrication there. It reminds me a lot of a railroad car. <laughs> Um, I was rather impressed with all the documentation. Uh, seems to have everything it ever had. And it's probably, because up here it says that, uh, let's see, somewhere up here it says that this stuff is supposed to stay with the vehicle. Isn't this cute? And uh, let's see, in here I have the the manuals to all the appliances. And more than I know yet, really. Look. Um, oh, hmm, boy, that looks cool. Ooh. Hmm. Okay. There's lots more that I don't know about this yet. Let's see. But for the people that don't know about it, I have a feeling that a lot of people that do know about it are going to be watching this. But this table comes out, 
and the um, the bed slide down. It slides down together to form a bed. Um, this couch. I don't know if I can do it with one hand, I bet I could. Uh, oh. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, look at that. You see how that flipped out? Now I'll take this. Yeah. See, now it's a bunk. Yeah. And to the other one. Okay, now it's fine. My son slept on that when we went out here, so it was sorry. It was sorry enough. I like how the uh, Oh, for daytime. There. You can get the chair to swivel around like that. Yeah, okay. And if you'll notice how airy it is and beautiful, it's like you can see all around from inside in here. Okay, well, uh, this is something we don't have. There used to be a vacuum, central vacuum, but we don't have that. Start there. There's a 6,000 watt Onan, Onan generator, and this, you know, there you go. Um, the refrigerator, freezer that all works nice, and there's the Oven. Good you can see it's chassis number 6923. And if anybody's a real nerd, they'll know what that is. Let's see. Um, that's the furnace. And it comes out down there. And back in the bedroom. So here's the bedroom. Inside, there's cabinets up here. There's two air conditioners, so there's another air conditioner in the bed. And your bedding can go in here. And these two couches that face each other slide together and turn into a bed. A cabinet up here. There's the thermostat. On here is where another one of the where the air ducts is. Okay, let's see. We will turn on the light. And we will enter the bath. We will soon be in the changing room. Uh-oh. I wasn't expecting that. Okay, and here's the closet. And step down here. And over here we got... Oh, okay, so now... We'll be in the changing room. We'll close this together. And so now you can you can access your closet and your drawers. Oh, quite literally have my drawers in there. Okay, and then now here's the bathroom. Okay. There's a shower curtain here. Okay, well, there's a okay. um, sink. And it's kind of neat. You go down here. Keep your stuff dry. Because it's also a shower. Which bothers some people. I think it's pretty neat. There's the drain. I don't know why. Um, and then you can put in a, a curtain here. A curtain there and you take your shower but yet your your stuff that's on your sink doesn't get wet because of the because of the curtain and that's why that there's electrical outlet up here you can plug like your hair dryer or something in and now it won't get that wet and now and you're also 
total privacy when you're in here. This is a changing room. Okay, turn that off. Turn that off. And that off. Ooh, are you afraid of the dark? Okay. Uh, huge window. You can just see everything from in here. It's amazing. It had, it had really dark print on it. And tint and it, when it took that off just got to the factory green was great okay i think i'm pretty close to the end of this let me show you the outside and then where the generator is this is such a neat little thing here see in there is the, the propane tanks Down below there is where you would you would uh, empty your gray water or you know your waste. In here is where that generator is. I'm not gonna try to open it. Well, I can open it up. Why not? Yeah. Yeah. So that's the generator, and there's a bank of batteries. That's the house batteries, and you can start that from the inside, and Okay, and the bottom of this, since it's all really low, um, the, uh, the it's a step-down kind of chassis. It's a full ladder frame with a, with a full, you know, ladder chassis, steel, with um, a bird cage of aluminum. And let's see the, the kind of, you know, fuselage aircraft kind of thing. But <coughs> this, uh, it has two tanks 